Hello everyone, welcome to my Let's Read Play channel. Once again, my name is Andrew T, coming at you. And we are continuing our playthrough through Quest for Glory 1. I so say you want to be your hero. Last time, we were... Okay, go skip through that. Continue quest. We are at the Healers. Uh, we had just gone out, and that's a castle. Behind there is the Orchard, and this is where the Healer is, so... As a thief, I have pretty good agility, so I'm going to climb up here. And apparently my climbing isn't that good. So you can go up and down that tree as many times as you want to increase your climbing. All right. Or you can use rock, pick up rocks from the ground, literally, and just throw them at the nest in order to get the uh, thing out of there. Okay, the fragrances of herbs mingle with some rather unpleasant odors as you step into the healer's house. Lovely day, isn't it? My, you look very healthy and being it. Adventuring must be new. What can I do here? I can sell you healing potions if you like. I can also buy spell components if you are interested in gathering some for me. Don't mind me, I always have much, so much to do around here. Now as a thief, you can steal from her, but you can't come in again after that. Like, you can steal these bottles when her back's turned, but if you do that, you can never come back. So you miss a, a lot on uh, uh, quests and from potions. Immediately Appleberry, but mostly I'm just known as a healer. I'm happy to sell you some potions. My pet Terry. Pet Terry. Ah, oh, I love that. The name's Terry, but with a silent P, like a pterosaur or pterodactyl. Nest. Okay, keeps me company. That's the other thing. If you. Right, there's a species of flying lizard. Alright. Ring. Yep. My ring is shaped in gold, like a braid in the herb, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how I lost it. I hardly ever take it off. So you saw that, if you could see before, the glint on the nest outside was a ring. Six gold, returns my ring. Okay, go back, go back. Uh, castle. Castle is on his guards for company, sorry, here. Uh, something else. Let's go with brigands. Those brutes had to heal someone they beaten up and robbed. I hate thieves. Okay, so that's enough for now. Just to get the idea of, okay, she lost her ring. Find a ring in the ventures, lost my favorite gold ring. Okay, I know that. I just talked to you about that. So, what we're going to do is go up and down until our climbing's well enough to uh, get up here. Plus, this is good for just uh, getting my strength and basic agility and everything else like that. Okay. Let's try a different tactic here. First, uh... No, I don't want to throw rocks at it. I could, but I won't. Alright, so then, let's go over to the orchard here. And talk to the centaur's dad. What's your name? I'm Heinrich Pfeff... Ferdinand. Ferd Ferd I think this may be the weirdest names for this game. <laughs> All right. I live in a town with my daughter Hilda, who sells our products on Market Street. Hilda, I'm proud of her, blah, blah, blah. All right, something else. Brigands. Time me a few months ago. I'm a strong fighter. My hooves are deadly, but there are too many of them. My right leg was broken, and there's no pride for a century I cannot run. If not been for unlikely intervention of the intervention of the leader, I would be dead. Hmm, leader. Leader came up after the brigands attacked and then forced them to stop ordering me not to hurt people from the town. Then, to my amazement, Leader gave me a healing potion and me carried to the healer's house. It was hard to judge the leader whose face was obscured by a large helm, but there was compassion like what one would expect from brigand. Okay, there's a... Alright, I already know that. Go back. Centaurs. Very ancient and proud people. Oh. What about the Baron? I'm sorry, I don't know that. Well, crap. Alright then. So, I'm going to save it right here just because when you get anywhere out of the town, at the beginning, there's chances you'll be attacked and then just summarily killed. They have to go all the way back to your last save. So, this is going to be my decoy game. So, if anything I think might bad might be happening, I'll just use this one as a decoy save. Oops, see, there was a... Then graveyard would have went down in place. Keep here in the daylight hours. 
Our stone you're facing in the grave with this message. Here lies Lester Moore, gored six times by a uh, boar. No less, no uh, more. Oh gosh. Okay, that is a red root. I think that's a mandrake you have to get later. I think you can only get it at like midnight though. So, like I said before, this game does have active uh, time. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is see if I can go up here now. This is a landmark to let you know exactly where everything up. Oh, no, not that way. Where where you are in comparison to the the town. Come on. Now I should be able to go up. You have to come at the right angle, otherwise uh, you won't be able to get here. Archery target looks using quite some time. All right, so now I'm going to practice some throwing here. All right. You know what? There's an easier way to do this. Let's pick up some rocks. First, got to get out of this air, this screen because anywhere you're at that has uh, something like that in it, it won't let you pick up any rocks. Okay, I'm going to speed up the speed here. Oh, I can't. Okay, so I'm going to put the speed up just a little bit more. Thought to speed up the animation. Alright. Yeah, I'm going a little faster, so that's good. So now, instead of using that freaking knife all the time, I can just do the rocks and throw them like this. My throwing go up automatically. And the more rocks you carry, the heavier it gets and the more strength you get from just carrying the stuff around all the time. But eventually your stamina will run out. <laughs> So if you get in a fight or anything like that, uh, you will be, be killed very soon because once your stamina runs out, it starts getting your health down. So as you can see right now, my health is at 15 and 18, my stamina is at 9 and 31. So throwing's gone up though, climbing is is gone up a little bit, luck and vitality gone up, intelligence and strength have gone up. And that's just for me literally just doing this. Pick up some more rocks one more time. Then I gotta see what time it is. Time, mid afternoon. So I still have, have a decent amount of time before it starts getting dark, so I'm gonna start looking around a bit more here, the map. Let's see. Now, as you can see up there, there's a little stone up there, or a mountain. Alright, World Waterfall fills your ears and cold spray demons the faces you approach. Let's see if it's any better here. It refreshes you. Alright, how much though? Not a lot. Now, my stamina's gone up, but my vitality's a little bit higher too. Nope. Can't go up the waterfall yet, so can't do this yet, but just know that it's there. That's uh, one thing. Alright, so do a little save again here. Save the decoy. Oh! Nope, not going to do that. Even though those are pretty easy to kill, um, it's not worth it in the end. So let's go right and see what's over here. This is a block pass that they were talking about before. Found the cruel trap and I'm a great banger. You can take a minute to set me free. You spring the trap. Exchange for kindness will give you some advice and a bit of information. First of all, sometimes it pays off to be polite even to rude people. As for the amusing tidbit, Bobby Guy put an enchantment on Baron's daughter some years back to break the spell. You need to talk to Dryad over all ta ta for now. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Alright. So, did that. Don't want to do that over again, so do a quick save. Let's check to see what's up here. This is a Bragi. 
Far from the frost field, fares forth this fighter. Hunger has hurled me hither from home. My name is known to, in the Northlands as Bragi. Barter with blades crash, or bargain with me. Bragi Abi, to boast of my boldness, strong as the storm that sends forth the snow. Fiercer in fighting than foes in their fear, you fear now this frost giant, fight her and flee. Bargain. Find me some fruit for the mellow my meat horn. Gift I will give or the gem that now glows. Jewel from Jodenheim. Flare of the frost flame, fetch, fetch to me fruit that will fill up my fists. So yeah, you can buy a lot of fruit from the fruit stand and to fill those up. Uh, all right. So basically, a really cool jewel. Fighting, fierce than frost bites. My fitters, fitters. My axe's edge as is the ice. Is willing to wield now the war drum, the battle axe, blazes and bells for blood. Nope, I am leaving. Because if you try to attack him, he literally one hits you, and that is all it takes. So, save that so I don't have to do it again in case I die. And it should be getting pretty late now. Alright. So here's the healers. There's the castle. Do I want to spend time in the castle? Yeah, I'll go there once. My name is Carl. <laughs> okay, the castle, blah blah. Okay. Reward. Still worn, blah blah blah. Death of Brigand Leader, but alright. And Warlock. He's using more magic potion and powder than spells. Hero. Title of Spectre and Honor. True hero can release this land from the curse using intelligence and courage. Alright. Uh Okay, so I can get a job as a stable boy here and basically clean out the stables for a little bit of money. It is backbreaking work though, so you will be. <laughs> you will be, uh. Uh. Your stamina will be going down as long as you're doing it. So, alright, let me see if I can walk in here. There it is, alright. Looking for some work? Yes. Come here and take a rake. Now I can't speed up the speed here. That's pretty fast still. No matter how fast the speed goes, it always slows down to that animation. I don't pay you to rest, get to work now! And I'll bring up my that everything you do hurts, better get some rest. Alright, come on over here. Some coin says, now you're five silvers richer. Ugh, alright, so... First thing we're gonna do... is talk... Just grab a rake and clean this place up. Pay... Five silvers... Pretty much a day because it takes forever. Alright, uh, guards. You don't bother me, I don't bother them. Monster. Those things scare me silly. And twerp. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it'll let me rest here. Alright, so I'm gonna go in here and sleep. Sleep all night. Zzz. <laughs> you think this is a rest home? Get to work now. So I gotta. If you rest, you have to basically pay your way by uh, working again. So even though I rest rested, I'm probably gonna get hungry after a while. So you do have ra rations or rations here. As well, that'll help you uh, get your health back and 
Let's see how much of my skills went up. Hey, my health went up, agility went up, intelligence, strength all went up, health and stamina went up, experience went up. Alright, so... All this stuff on the right, though, is stuff I need to get up as well. So, it's always good to have at least more health and stamina. But, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save here, not under, under decoy, but under stable boy. And save it. And I'm going to call it a uh, video here. Once again, this is Andrew T. coming at you. Uh, thank you all so much for seeing me through again on this video, and y'all have a good one.